HTML5 element is nothing but the canvas. What is canvas? The canvas is nothing but the blank. Suppose if I want to make use of canvas, then I must have the HTML code along with the JavaScript. Whenever I want to create any empty rectangle space, then I'll go with the canvas. Hello to all, a warm welcome to my third unit and the topic name here is HTML5. I'm your Revati ma'am faculty from the Department of Computer Science Vidyashram First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence, Mysuru. So dear student, in my today's session, I'm going to deal with HTML5. In that, I'm going to deal with the special element called canvas. Before going to start my today's session, let's discuss what is HTML5. Anyway, dear student, we know that HTML is nothing but the hypertext markup language. It's mainly used to define the structure of the web page as well as the content of the web page. Now, what about HTML5? It's nothing but the version of HTML. Okay, if I consider version of HTML, we have HTML1, HTML2, like that we are going to have the HTML5. And the most commonly used HTML version here is HTML5. In that, okay, we are going to have the canvas. What it is, it is nothing but the HTML element or HTML tag. It is mainly used to Okay, declare the rectangle area on the web page. Okay, think that it is my web page. Okay, suppose if I want to define any okay rectangle area, then I'll use the canvas. Okay, so it does not include any content as well as border. Okay, fine. Now, see here, HTML5 element is nothing but the canvas. It's a tag, okay, gives you an easy and powerful way to draw the graphics. Suppose if you want to draw the box, okay, if you want to draw the square if you want to draw the rectangle or if you want to draw any quadratics okay then i'll use the canvas so i'm going to write the code and where i'm going to write that is using javascript so it can be used to draw a graphs okay make a photo position or okay you can able to include any simple animation. So what is my tag name? Tag name is nothing but the canvas. Okay, in my canvas attribute, I can have the attributes like width and height. Here canvas is nothing but the HTML element. Okay, along with that, it includes the attributes like width and height. Now, in one single web page, I can have many canvas. Now, how I am going to include the canvas? How I am going to identify the canvas through the unique ID? So, canvas can have the ID and it is nothing but the user defined ID name. Along with that, I am going to specify the width of the canvas as well as height of the canvas. Now, how I am going to include this user defined canvas ID in my JavaScript for that I am going to have the method called get element by ID. Okay, so what is my method name get element by ID. So it's a this is comes under your DOM attribute. Okay, so what is DOM document object method? Okay, so now see here, I have the example where, okay, where is a way used to create the variable canvas. So what is canvas? Okay, canvas is my variable name. 
document dot okay document dot get element by id and i'm going to pass the id name that should be written inside the double quote now i have the simple example how to create a canvas okay so i'll start with the head okay i'll start with the i'll start with this style tag okay and i'm going to define the my canvas i'm going to define the selector that is nothing but the my canvas okay and i'm going to specify the border okay and i'm going to specify the thickness and color of the border okay and i'm going to close the style now see here in my body section okay i'm going to create a canvas okay what is my canvas id that is nothing but the my canvas what is the height height is 100 and width is 100 and i'm going to close the canvas so this is the way okay i can able to write the code now see here what is canvas the canvas is nothing but the blank initially blank in the sense what okay think that this is my web page okay and whenever i want to create any empty rectangle space then i'll go with the canvas okay to display something so when i say it is canvas there is no border there is no text or context okay so here the canvas element has a dom method called get context in the sense okay if i want to access okay canvas element then i must have the get context it is used to obtain the rendering context and its drawing function so see here i have a variable called c okay if i want to get my canvas id i'm going to use get element by id okay method and i'm passing the parameter my canvas now if i want to get the rendering context okay then i'll i'll use the c dot get context i and i'm going to represent what kind of graphics it is 2d 3d and so on so here it is to dimension okay fine there are three methods that draw a rectangle on the canvas suppose if i want to draw the canvas okay i have three methods so what is canvas canvas is nothing but the rectangle area on the web page well so i have the fill rect i have the stroke rect and even i have the clear rect so if I want to draw the rectangle, what are the things I want? I want the X coordinate, Y coordinate along with the width and height. So if I consider fill rect, okay, how many parameters it's taking? Four parameters. Okay, this method draws a filled rectangle. Suppose if I want regular rectangle outline, then I'll go with the stroke rect. Okay. If I want to clear the rectangle area, then I'll use clear rect. So how many parameters I'm passing? Four parameters. So this is the method used to clear the specified area and makes it fully transparent. So X and Y are the coordinates, whereas width is nothing but the width of the rectangle. Height is nothing but the height of the rectangle. Okay, fine. Now I have simple code to draw the rectangle. So this is my HTML code. Okay, then okay, I'm going to write the script. So script can be okay written in my body section as well as above the body. See here, what is my canvas ID here? My canvas is nothing but the canvas id now okay i am going to write the script so i am going to embed canvas in my html in my javascript so suppose if i want to make use of canvas then i must have the html code along with the javascript 
So I'm going to consider a variable called C. Oh, okay. Document dot get element by ID and I'm passing my canvas ID. So what is my canvas ID? My canvas is nothing but the canvas ID. Okay, and to have the rendering context, okay, I'm going to have the method called get context, okay, and it is two dimension. Okay, fine. By using the variable, okay, I'm going to call the attributes like fill style, okay. So, what is this? I'm going to fill the color. What kind of color? It is hexadecimal color code. Okay, and I'm going to pass the value. So, it is nothing but the fill rect, okay, and I'm going to pass the values and I'm going to close the script, I'm going to close the body and I'm going to close the HTML. Now, suppose if I want to draw any path in my canvas, okay, I can able to draw the path. So, suppose if I want to draw the path, then I have certain methods to draw the path in HTML5 using canvas. So, here begin path. This method reset the current path. For example, okay, now I already have my path. Suppose if I want to reset my existing path, then I'll go with the begin path. Move to, okay, this method creates a new sub path. For example, I have the path say x and y. It's my current path. Now, I just want to reset this path. For that, I'm going to have the move path. Close the path. Okay, I have current path X and Y. I just want to close this path and I want to create new sub path. Okay, then I'll go with the close path. Okay, fine. Then I have the method called fill. So fill it is mainly used to fill the sub path with the current, okay, with the current fill style. Stroke, this method stroke the sub path, okay, and I have arc. So, it takes x coordinate, y coordinate, radius, okay, along with the starting angle and ending angle and it is in anti-clockwise direction. So these are the certain method used to draw the path. Now, okay, we have line. Suppose if I want to draw the line, okay, then how I can able to draw? See here, this is my line. So what I want to do, I want to consider the x, y coordinate along with that, I want to consider the x1 and y1 coordinates. So, dear student, to draw a line in HTML5, we have certain methods. They are first one, begin path. Okay. So, this method reset the current path. That's nothing but the current line. Okay. Move to x, y. So, this method creates the new sub path. That is nothing but the new sub line. Okay, close path. So, by using close path method, we can able to close the current path. Okay, then we have fill. It's a method, okay, used to fill the sub path with the current fill style. Then we have stroke. So, this method strokes the sub path with the current stroke style as well as we have line to x comma y. So, this method adds the given point to the current sub path and connect the previous one with a straight line. So, I have the previous line, okay, and line to in the sense what? I am going to create a new sub line and I am going to connect the previous line. Now I have the code here. So I have the script and I'm going to write this script. What kind of script I have? That is nothing but the 
java script so text or java script okay and in my code i'm using the function so to create a function i'm using the keyword called function and what is the function name draw shape as nothing but a user defined function name and i'm going to receive the canvas id okay so that is through the get element by id okay and i'm going to create a rendering context that is get context okay then i'm going to use the line okay methods like begin path move to line to line to okay and close the path i'm going to close the line okay and i can have the methods like stroke and fill and in my body okay i'm going to create a canvas id so what is my canvas id my canvas and in my body i'm going to give the id of the body that's nothing but the text okay when i load the web page so what is the method i am going to call that is nothing but the draw shape method i am going to call now i have some of the line properties they are line width line cap line join okay so width okay i am going to set the value it can be set to change the line width suppose if i want to change the width of the line then i'll go with the line width okay suppose if i want to change the cap style line cap style then i'll go with the line cap if i want to join the line then i'll go with the line join property so these are the some of the properties of line okay fine then suppose if i want to draw any bezier curve on the canvas then i have some of the bezier property so what are the bezier methods i can have that is begin path move to close path fill and stroke so what is begin path it is mainly used to reset the current path move to in the sense what okay this method creates a new sub path then close path i just want to close the current path and i want to create the new sub path suppose if i want to fill the color okay to my sub path then i'll use the fill method then if i want to have stroke in my current sub path then i'll call the stroke method now see here i have bezier curve to okay and it's going to take the six parameters that is nothing but the x y okay then x1 y1 okay x2 y2 so this method adds the given point to the curve path connect the previous one by the cubic base curve with the given control suppose if i want to okay connect to the existing base curve then we will go with the base curve to so that we can able to connect the new base curve with the existing base curve so here first what i will do i'm going to create a canvas id and what is my canvas id name my canvas and what is the width 300 and what is the height 150 and what kind of style i'm going to have that is border the thickness of the border is 1 pixel solid and what color it is in blue color now i'm going to write the script okay so how i can able to get the id of my canvas that is through the get element by id over oh, and i'm passing the canvas id and i'm going to create the rendering con 
text okay then i'm going to call the methods of the baser that is nothing but the begin path move to baser curve to so i'm going to connect the existing baser curve with the new baser curve okay and i'm going to call the method stroke and i'm going to close the script i'm going to close the body and i'm going to close the html okay fine then i have one more graphical representation that is nothing but the quadratic so we require the following method to draw the quadratic curve if i want to draw the quadratic curve then okay i can have the begin path move to close path fill stroke and so on so begin path it's mainly used to reset the current path uh, of the quadratic curve next if i want to create a new quadratic curve then i'll go with the move to and i'm going to specify the x and y coordinate if i want to close the previous path okay and i want to create the new sub path then i'll go with the close path if i want to fill the sub path then i'll go with the fill method if i want to have the stroke in my sub path then i'll go with the stroke then i can have the quadratic curve to that is i can have the x coordinate y coordinate x1 and y1 okay so think that i have already quadratic curve and i'm going to create a new quadratic curve and if i want to combine both the new quadratic curve with the existing quadratic curve then i'll go I, then i'm going to use the quadratic curve to method okay fine then i have the simple example code that is i'm writing the java script okay so i'm going to specify what kind of script that is text or java script okay and i'm going to create a function what is my function name draw shape okay i'm going to get the canvas id that is by get element by id and i'm going to create a rendering context okay that is through get context what kind of rendering context it is 2d and i'm going to create sub quadratic curve for that begin path okay and i'm going to join okay i'm going to move the current quadratic path with the new that is sub path then i'm going to call a method called move to okay and if i want to join both the quadratic path that is nothing but the quadratic curve then i will use quadratic curve too and i'm going to call a stroke method and i'm going to close the script now okay when i want to when the function should be perform its action when i load the page so what is my event here on load okay i'm going to call the method what's my canvas id my canvas is nothing but the canvas id okay anyway dear student in my today's class i started with what is canvas how to create a canvas so canvas is nothing but a rectangle area on the web page okay it does not have any border as well as any content to draw the rectangle area on the web page we are going to have the canvas element that's nothing but the canvas tag along with that we have discussed how we can able to create a line how we can able to create a rectangle how we can able to create a quadratic curve and base okay these are the certain topic we have discussed in my today's session in my next session i'm going to deal with linear gradient as well as radial gradient anyway dear student let's meet in the next session with more information about html5 until that keep watching and keep learning thank you